All right, folks, this is Yeah Pete here, and what I'm going to do is go through, go over step by step on how to wire a computer. Step by step. This is video is more for first timers. I'm going to go through it pretty slow. I'm not going to really fast forward anything here. I'm just going to show you how to do it. And there's a couple things that you're going to need first your motherboard manual. It tells you where all the stuff needs to be plugged in. The next thing you're going to need is twisty ties. Lots of them. Every time I get an electronic item that comes with a twisty tie, I save those. I put those in a little container where I have them because I use them a lot when I'm wiring a computer. I have an as a Solano case. One thing that I usually do uh, when I get a case, I try to make sure that the case has room on the side, the other side to hide your cables. Now what that does is that helps a lot with the airflow. You do not want your cables looking like a mess here because what that's going to do is going to block your airflow through the case. Now the first thing I do is I'm going to take these wires here. These are all the front panel wires and I'm just going to, you can either, if you don't have a back panel, you can either just get them out of the way or I'm going to send them through the loop here. Now I can either go up here or here. I think I'm just going to go up top to get them out of the way. I don't deal with these quite yet. So let's get those through there, out of the way. And this one is another one, out of the way. Hope you can see that. Yeah, you should be able to. There's really no good, I mean, there's not a lot of room here where I can get out of the way and move this stuff. Got those out of the way. Now this here is a fan. One of I have two front fans here. And then I have another fan up top and I have this fan here. So those are all case fans. This one I'm going to send out the back through here. This fan here is going to go just hide it back there for now. Get it out of the way. And then these two fans, these are two different fans, but they come with this, uh, I, could, I think this is called the four pin Molex connector. Um, you can connect them both together. So all they need is power on one side and it'll power both of them. You can chain these all together. I wouldn't chain more than four of them together. That's just me. I don't know what the exact rules are, but, and then that can go out the back. All right. Wires that I first start with, is I get the big one out of the way. Now this is the 24 pin power. You can see uh, this part plugs into my power supply. 24 pin ATX. You ever see that? So that's where I connect it first. Now you can see I already I have zip ties. I already zip tied this thing together so it's pretty compact. See the zip ties? I recommend doing the same. So this is where it plugs in. Here. Okay. That one is snapped in. And then on the motherboard, it plugs in. Right here. Make sure it's the right way. All you have to do is look at it. You can see, if you look at it, you can see that there's some plugs that are kind of not a square shape. That's how you line it up quite easily. And then it just slides right in there. I know I get grab the back of the board and I just shimmy it around. You could hear it click. Sometimes these are really 
tough to get in there all the way. Go take a look. And that's in there. I grab. I kind of grab on the back of the board and push it because it, it it'll really flex that flex that board. All right. So that's the first one. And this one, instead of running it around the back, I actually ended up just running it down the side of the case. It says it here. Usually they're labeled here. So that's what I'm going to do is the CPU cord next. So I find my CPU cord. This one, they're all labeled right here, CPU. And it even tells you right here, it says type three. So, so it tells me this side, this part plugs into the, into the power supply and this plugs into the CPU. So I'm going to plug this one in first. Underneath. There it is. I'm going to run that out the back. And then for the motherboard, my CPU power is right here. So I can grab that. Run it through the back, plug it in up top, and I grab behind the motherboard when I push that in. Don't know if that's proper, but that's what I do. We can do the graphics card, because that's another pretty large connector. So I find my PCIe Type 3. Got it there. So it's got a clip. Line it up, you can see by the clip. And then push it in. So that's good like that. Got the 24 pin, the motherboard power, we got the CPU power, we got the graphics card power. Next we'll do all of our accessories. My particular power supply is labeled peripherals right here. So that's what this is, is the peripherals. You change them, see there's four of them. That's why I think you can only power four fans because each one of these only powers four of these devices. I'm just gonna start with the end. So I'm gonna start with here. Let's see if I can, you can see this. So these power into the back of hard drives and SSDs. So you want to power, do the power first because it's back for it's further towards the back. All right, so plug that in there, and then this one lines up pretty good. This is my hard drive. I think I'm going to flip it up. So you can do like a turn, like this, bend it, run it, run it out the back, we'll plug it in on the bottom right here. We're going to run the peripheral power for the next two hard drives. Same method. Right here. This power here. You plug it in. Plug it in there. And then you plug in the next one. There. And what I'm going to do, I have a, these hard drive bays. This is what's nice about having a large case is I don't think really much air flows through there. I'm just gonna stuff this wire just like that other one. Just like the other wire, I'm gonna stuff this one down there too. And then plug this into the next peripheral. Right there. You can see on this wire, I used electrical tape to tape all these together. 
they are not going to be used, so I don't want them flopping all over the place. Sometimes you have to take the case cover off, like on the back, and you don't want that flopping all over the place because then it makes it harder to put it back on. So I like everything securely fastened in place so that if I ever need to take the cover off to clean it or whatever, I don't have to mess, it ar mess around with it. So this plugs into the peripheral right here. This is what's nice about a modular power supply is you only need to connect the plugs that you're going to use. We're gonna send this through the back. And then we can spin this around. I know this looks a little confusing, but here's the one we just sent through. Let's see if you can see. I'll send that through here. And here are the fans. So we're going to just pick one. We're going to see how this goes like this. Uh-oh. You want to try to hold this on the wires and push. I noticed if I'm pushing on pushing on this thing, sometimes it'll push the wires out. So hold the wires. And you got to jiggle with this. These sometimes these are finicky. There it is. Got it. So sometimes these are a little finicky. You want to make sure you don't push that metal piece out of the plastic. Next thing we're going to do is plug in the fans. I have a case fan here. Well, this is a CPU fan pin, but you know what? It doesn't really matter if it's a CPU fan or a case fan. A fan is a fan. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this upper fan in where that CPU fan goes. So I run this up here. Now I can turn this around. And plug this fan in right here where it's the CPU fan. There it is. Right here there's a chassis pin for fans. It says chaff fan. Sometimes the motherboards are labeled. Sometimes you have to consult the manual. But this one it's labeled. Plug in the chassis fan. There's no way, wrong way to plug it in. There's little plastic that fits in the groove in the slot there. So you can't really, you shouldn't, you shouldn't make a mistake unless you break off that little plastic thing. All right, I'm going to start tying down some of these cables here. Move these out, out of the way. Like this. There's little notches. So I just I can just insert the cable here for the tie, the twisty tie. Tied up. Kind of push it, push it in there. And then up here. Probably have another tie. So that. <clears throat> this 
one. I want this one out of the way. I think I used something like this one. And I can go around these screws. That one there. And then this one. There. That. Just anything to get these out of the way. I think the thing to do now is work on all these front panel connections. And we'll start with the, this one's a kind of a difficult one to do. This is the, the power LEDs and the hard drive LED. What I usually do, as you can see what I did here, is I used electrical tape. And I taped them all together in the proper order that they're supposed to go on my motherboard. Uh, those come in through the bottom, I believe. I'm just going to go ahead and feed this through here right now. I don't remember where it goes exactly. But you want to consult your manual on that one. Here's the panel. Yeah, you got to put those on before you get all the cables in because then it might be difficult to find a spot to move it. Okay. We got that one in. Make sure everything's lined up. Panel. Now you just pick another one, okay? This one is the HD audio. So we're going to find where our HD audio is. And for my motherboard, it's right here in the back corner. It's even labeled, so a lot of times you don't even have to look at the manual. It's, it says it right there. So just feed it in. And then you plug it in. And this one is missing a pin, so you line up that pin that's missing. Wiggle it a bit, and that one I'm just going to scoot behind the power supply, like that. Got nice and out of the way. <clears throat> I think next is a USB, so I know there's some USBs right here. Yeah, USB. So I'm going to look here. Yeah. So here's the USBs. You look for the missing pin to line it up. Notice it's missing one. that's where that goes. This is another a third USB slot. You can see it says VCC, USB minus, USB plus, and then ground. So this one you have to line up proper. And in the manual here, see I wouldn't know this if I didn't have the manual, the ground is next to the dummy, which is it's just a pin that's sticking out that does nothing, just so you can line everything up. So the ground there, it, I have to line up the ground on this one with the dummy one. So it's going to go in there like that, with the ground next to the dummy. <clears throat> so I feed it in, and I'll lay to the ground right next to the dummy on the USB. Right. 
It's all set up. Yeah. Let's see if we forgot any. So that's all of our front panel headers, wires, and then we can bring all these over here and see how I pulled this one down. Some cable management, some easy cable management. Yeah, these can all go where I tied this one up. Just pull that wire. Wrap it around like so. So these are all tied up now. <clears throat> this one looks like what I did was I folded it over and laid it flat. Then I can wrap it along with that one. Looks like this one was wrapped here. So everything's kind of still clean. I'm going to take the opportunity to tie this up the way, up and out of the way, the way it was. Straighten this thing out too. So that'll go straight. another tie to go around there get a nice 90 degree angle The last cables that we do are just our uh, SATA cables, and those just, I have all my SATA ports are right here, I don't know if that's blocked by the wire, you can see these red ports here, these are SATA, your SATA cables are usually marked if it's SATA 3 or SATA 6. So this one says SATA 6, so that's 600 megabits a second. That one you want connected to your solid state drive. Yeah, these, these normal hard drives and a CD drive, those just need SATA 3 cables because they're not that fast. This is going to connect to this one. And it should, sometimes they click in, sometimes this one's not really clicking in, in there, but it's in. And then... I think when I ran it, I ran it, runs out, out the back. Come on, get in there. Out the back, so it needs to kind of fold that way. Kind of bend it, get a nice, comes out, and it kind of wraps back. I won't do any more folds until I figure out how exactly this goes in here. And this one's going to snap in. I like how this does like a nice 90. And you want it to feel it to click in there. 
where it connects to the motherboard, you don't want to be putting any kind of pressure or anything. You want that to kind of feel loose. You want to do your bending at the at, the, at these wires, like this one. Bend it like here, and then we can tie it off later when we get all the rest of the SATA cables in there. So this one, I'm gonna wrap it all the way. I'll just start at the top, just start at the top, work my way down, no big deal. Kind of got to pay attention to how that plugs in. Put that thingy down, so it's going to go in. It's going to go in like that. So we kind of want it ready. So I plug that in there. We are going for this hard drive here. It in. Look at the. Make sure it's clean first. That one. And then this bottom one. Looks like I already had this one bent that way, the proper way. It's in this bottom hard drive. this around. It's gotta run up this way. Put that one in. Plug that one in. You can see they're all plugged in. Like I could put another tie right here. So I have my tie. Pull it all together. Put a tie here to keep this pushed against that. Wrap it two or three times. And then you can push it down and out of the way best you can. Take this one, we'll wrap this one up a little bit more. And we can get it behind this little lip. Like that. Out of the way. As best we can. Go to the back. See these are floppy everywhere. I think it's best if they just go this way here. This. All we need is one wire. So you can kind of bring them together. Can create a little hook. Then it can go around these ball 
here. All right. Get that ready for the to receive the wires. are good and then these two can go here and see I already have a wire here holding these so I can undo this wire pull those two and you can kind of mess with them the way you want so that is all the wiring uh, that I have. Other things you can have is uh, USB 3.0. That's what's right here. Here's the back pa panel. Come on. See, there's not much room, it's pushing a little bit. So my front panel has a huge 120 millimeter fan, so I have to add one more of these peripheral powers, which is right here. This is the part that plugs in. So I'll just set that in this bottom slot here, or slide it underneath with all the other cables. Okay, I got this last clip and that's going to plug into this clip. Right there. Were you able to see that? Alright. That I'll just fold over down right here. Let me set that here. What's that? The bird crap or something. <laughs> That's all there is to it to wire a computer. As you can see, it's not difficult. It's not too difficult. It didn't take too long. And now you know how to change things yourself. I hope this helped you. If, if I helped you, please help me by liking and subscribing the video to the video. Please leave some feedback. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or any particular videos that you want, uh, please leave that in the comment section. Thank you for watching.